All right, I apologize. It's a little bit windy today, but I have to do this today. So we're just going to have to roll with it. Um, I am going to show you how the process, the tools that I have to tattoo a rabbit ID number in their left ear. Don't have to have the ID in their ear unless you are showing them. If not, you know, it's, I've talked about this before and I'm not going to hash it out. But if you are still raising them as show quality, I still encourage you to assign them a number that will be put on their pedigree. That is their ID number, essentially. Well, not essentially, it is. So <laughs> they need to have that number assigned to them. But if you don't feel comfortable doing it, it's not like required that you do it in order to sell them. So all that to say, this is what we're doing. So um, this is numbing spray. Um, and I will link to all the tools in the description, but this is human numbing spray. So you can get it um, at like a Sally's Beauty Supply, something like that, or order it off of Amazon. And that's usually what I will do. So I will preface this though. I go and spray the ear, but only the ones like I'm going to do five today, not all in this video, but I'm going to spray like the first two while we're talking and I'm showing you the supplies, not all of them, because I've noticed that if you, um, let it sit for more than I would say 20 minutes I feel like it loses its strength um so whether that's true or not I don't know for sure um but I've noticed that the ones that wait too long the numbing doesn't seem to be working as well so I'm going to spray the first two and then let it sit for about 10 minutes then while I'm tattooing right before I go to tattoo that those two then I will go spray the other three of their ears okay oh so that makes sense all right I'm going to go spray them and then I will come back and show you the supplies and all the things of how I get them wrapped up and ready to go. All right, I'm gonna do a quick run through of any of the supplies that I use during this. So here's, again, the numbing spray. I always have a sheet or just a scratch of the color if like I'm doing different animals, excuse the rabbit. Um, and then the ID number that I am tattooing in there um, just so I can easily look at it and, and not have to think too hard. Um, these, are, this is a grungy old <laughs> looking inkwell and you can buy these little cups, um, off of Amazon and it's just a great way just to throw it out. They're like three bucks for all of these. Um, so I just fill that with ink and then when I'm done, throw it out. So it's much, much better on the cleanup. This is actually a human tattoo pen. Um, it's one you can buy off of Amazon. It's about $100 when I bought it. Um, but it has the battery pack that you would charge it with. That pops in here. Um, and then that, that helps balance it. So I like that it has the battery out here instead of just this long thing. Um, and so my thought process on the reason I went with a human one instead of the animal ones was that it's just not regulated in trying to find the supplies and needles and all of that just aren't regulated so the quality of them was just in the toilet so anyways to say all that and then this is a the the pin head that goes inside and so a lot of the reasons that i like this better again like the reason i like the cups um is just that it's easy to just throw out and this box is a box of 50 of them um and so that was i think 20 dollars on its own um, and so like that's gonna last me for eons, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this open and get it in there. It just pulls out of there. And then this um, end here goes in right there. It's a, it goes in the front end here. It's a little tricky, it slides in and then you just turn it. If you go, it doesn't allow you to turn the other way. So once it pops in, it's in there. Um, now this does have, it does affect the length that the needle, I don't know if I can get it to focus on it, that the needle comes out. So for rabbits, you want it to be about an eighth to a sixteenth of an inch. See how that is coming out? So I'm going to see if I can stop it. Yeah. I think that's high enough, um, but let me see if I can show how you twist this and the length of the needle 
tightens so it would get it longer like it would come out longer so before when I first stopped it it was stopped down about there and now you can see it's almost at the top of the opening there so I don't want it to go that long it's that would like puncture the ear <laughs> we don't want to do that so I'm gonna bring it down by twisting it counterclockwise then I'm going to take one of these cups just pop it in here and then I will fill that up with ink um, the, again human ink doesn't really matter <laughs> um, this comes with like a turny thing that turns the hole opens the hole there I'm just gonna fill it up this thing was eight dollars I think so I would rather have it full All right, normally I wrap them up in this. I'm not sure that she will fit, um, but we're gonna try. It's also, it helps keep them a whole lot calmer. Um, it kind of just wraps them up like a burrito. And then I just need her ear to be out. It's, she's just barely too big. There we go, okay, I can at least get it around her butt. Got it around her butt. turn her this way there we go this helps them feel secure and just they they're not gonna jump and scratch and hurt themselves um anyways so I'm going to turn this back on and then I'm just going to hold it I'm gonna hold it in the cup but not touch the bottom of the of the ink cup Kind of spitting there for a minute and now i pull that out and you can kind of see that it filled up with ink there oh spilled it so now i have her ear number in sight of me so i can just look at it and you pull their ear up and wrap it around your finger here and i'm essentially going to write along my finger in her ear okay I'm gonna turn her sideways. It's a little bit, it's blood, um, like the ink is bleeding quite a bit, but I'm, I don't wanna wipe that off. Um, the numbers that I did were LL606, but this will take a day or two to kind of wear off, and then I'm gonna look at it again and then retouch it up. All right, I bought this rabbit from someone else, and this is, this is his ID number. Now, it looks a little better in person, but you really can't tell any of it. Um, it's supposed to be a PTF923. You can see some of it, <laughs> but I'm taking them to a show and like they are going to look at that and go, that's not readable. Um, so anyways, I sprayed it. I'm really hoping I can get that a little bit stronger um, for the show this weekend. Okay, so one of the easier ways, because remembering which ear is can be a hard thing the reason you don't want this ear is because it is the one that they if they ever get registered with the ARBA they will get another tattoo in this ear so you don't want the number or the symbol to be diff or in the wrong place basically okay the easiest way to remember which one is always the left but to know you got the right one from their butt towards you and then you know well your left is the same it's their left so that is another way that you can try and remember that, okay? And especially if you're going to be using this thing, their head goes towards the smaller end. So, and then wrapping them like that, this will, you know, help you get the right one. We've got a nosy Nelly here. Start wrapping them up nice and tight. I am finding that if you tattoo them more up the center, they get less cranky. The buck that I recently just had to overdo was um, up a little bit higher in the upper third, probably. Um, and they tend to get a lot crankier there, but there's a lot thicker of a cartilage there. So I feel like it's more like getting your ears pierced down here, whereas like you're actually doing a little bit more, causing them a little bit more pain if it's up higher, I think. 
So I'm gonna try and get it down a little bit lower. All right, I don't know if you can see the zone of area that I went in, but some of the other ones I ended up being a little bit lower down here where my thumb is, and they were a little bit more fussy, but she, she didn't budge. Like when I did her, she was like right up and I even got to do like some of them over. So um, that's the difference between like trying to get it within that zone, um, like really just the center there rather than any of the edges, I think. All right, I was able to do her tattoo a while ago. Not perfect, obviously, but that's supposed to be a B, B, two, nine. So the bottom half of the second B is the only one that really could use some touch up, but that's what it will look like once it's done. It's a whole lot sharper, I think, than some of the like rabbit tattoo pens, that sort of thing. So it's a whole lot easier, I think. And it looks a lot better and it's easier to do than like the clamp too. Cause there is a rabbit tattoo clamp um, tool out there. And so anyways, that's what it should hopefully look like eventually once it, the ink clears up.